this is dr indradeep kumar assistant professor iiri hyderabad so in this video we will see problem on structural and loading discontinuities for open section bin okay so our lecture topic is problems on structural and loading discontinuities in case of open section bin so the question is the column shown in figure here right carries a vertical load of 100 kilo newton you see here okay calculate the angle of twist here angle of twist is fine not rate of twist so that theta is required at the top of the column so at top of the column here the angle of twist is required and the distribution of direct stresses at its base so distribution of direct stresses at its base is required and angle of the twist at the top we have to find what is given e is given as 2 lakh or 200 into 10 to the power 3 newton per mm square and or 2 you can say 2 into 10 to the power 5 newton per mm square and g by e is 0 0.3 6. So now just see here after converting into the boom type just see what is given here in the cross section wise right here this is 100 mm just from that is 1 to 2 100 mm 2 to 3 right that is 200 mm 3 to 4 100 mm and this thickness is given that is 5 mm and r is the center of twist okay now what we have to find we have to find the angle of twist at the top and see a stress distribution at the bottom okay so let's start okay so first the center of twist r of the column cross section coincides with its shear center at the midpoint of the wave 2 3 here right that here it's coincide okay the distribution of 2 ar is observed obtained as this already we had seen when that is at the midpoint of that one so 2 ar dash is equals to hd into h plus d by 2 into h plus d so here we are not going to derive we are just doing the numerical so directly that's I use formula, you can also use directly the formula, okay, so 2 AR dash equals to HD into H plus D by 2 into H plus D. So now we have 2 AR dash here, okay, and it's shown in figure, so how that is there, just see here, so from this to this, 1, 2, so 1, 2, right, 3 is here and 4 is here, so this is passing from here, right, in between 1 to 2, it goes straight from 2 to 3 and then again it passes like this. So, this is here the 2 AR form, right? 2 AR curve. Okay. Now, the torsion bending constant tau r is given as this earlier also we had seen just this difference was there because of 2 AR. So, that we had that for time formula 2 AR into this one. So, now here we substituted the 2 AR value. So, tau r equals to T d q into h square by 12 into 2 h plus d by h plus 2 d. So, this is our tau r formula as and has the value of tau r is how much 2.08 into 10 to the power 10 mm power 6 now from the cent when and torsion constant j is what sigma stq by 12 let's put the value right so after putting the value what you will get 0 0.17 into 10 to the power 5 mm power 4 so that root g j by e tau r and now we have j Right, E is given, G is given, tau R just now we found because E by G ratio is given. Right, in question let's see here. Sorry, here. G by E ratio is given 0 0.36. So directly we can use here G by E. So J we found right and tau R is here after substituting all the values here. Right, so after this, what we will get? So that root gj by e tau r gives what? 0 0.54 into 10 to the power minus 3. Since no torque is applied to the column, what happened? This only will be the d theta by dz equals to c cos h mu z plus d sin h mu z. Now again, like earlier, so what we have required? C and d. So, for C and D, what we have to do? Apply the boundary condition. So, let's apply the boundary condition. Okay. At the base of the column, wrapping of the cross section is suppressed. Show that d theta by dz equals to 0. When z is 0. So, when z is 0, d theta by dz equals to 0. Substitute in equation 1. So, after substituting here, what you will get? d theta by dz equals to 0. So, 0 equals to C cos h mu into 0 plus d sin h mu into 0. So, sin 0, this will be 0. So, this is 0 equals to 
C and cos h mu 0, mu into 0 cos 0 is 1. So, C. Hence, C equals to 0. That we got. Now, C equals to 0. We got. Now, we have to apply the second boundary condition. So, just here. Yes, C equals to 0. Now, m t, m tau equals to p into 2ar. That p is given that as minus 100. Right? And 2ar, so just now we found that as 2.5 into 10 to the power minus, sorry, 10 to the power 3. So, that gives how much? 25 into 10 to minus 25 into 10 to the power 5 kilo newton per mm square. So, this converted this time into the kilo newton. Okay? Now, Noting that the formula of m tau is what? S S integral c sigma z into 2ar t ds. Now we have t, right? We have 2ar, we have sigma z. Okay? So this. Now from here, what we got? d2 theta by dz square. Right? Just differentiate this one and then put the value of c. So after c, this, what we will get? Here. So d2 theta by dz square as 2.5 into 10 to the power 5 into 10 to the power 3 divided by 2 lakh that is e into 2.08 into 10 to the power 10. So after that what you will get? That is 0 0.06 into 10 to the power minus 6 per mm square. So now we have d2 theta by dz square value. Okay. Now so at z equals to 3000 mm substituting the differential equation of 1 gives d equals to now after putting this now substitute here right what so at z equals to 3000 gives d value right so that means here if you will substitute g z equals to 3000 because this is zero so d theta by dz is d sine mu 3000 right after finding that what you will get the value of d theta by dz now we have right so from here we can find d. So finally d will be equals to 0 0.04 into 10 to the power minus 3. Now just substitute there. So d theta by dz equals to 0 0.04 into 10 to the power minus 3 sin h 0 0.4 that value 0 0.54 into 10 to the power minus 3 z. Okay. Integrating equation because we required to find what z. So now what we have to do? Integrate this equation. So after integrating, what do you will get? Integrating the equation 2, we will get theta, integration of this is theta equals to this one, 0 0.04 into 10 to the power 3 will be out. Sine, so first sine 0 0.54, differentiation is cos 0 0.54, okay. And then just this z plus this f, f is the integration integral constant, right. So, because this is the indefinite integral, so when we are in integrating indefinite integral, that time one constant is coming, generally in integration we are taking c. So, here we cannot take c because already c and d is there. So, just another constant that has f, which is called that integral constant or constant of integration, right. So, now this is the theta value. Now, the thing, what we have to find the value of f. Once we know the value of f, we can substitute here and we will get the value of theta. So now let's see what will be the value of f. So again for finding the value of f, we have to, we have to do, we have to put some boundary condition or some conditions. So let's see. At the built-in int, z equals to 0, theta is 0. So put here now z equals to 0, theta is 0. Right. So after putting that, what happens? 0 equals to 0 0.08 cos h. Okay into 0 0.54 into 10 to the power minus 3 into 0 plus f. So this becomes 0. So cos 0 as 1. So 0 0.08 plus f 0 equals to. So f equals to minus 0 0.08. Okay. So now we have the f value. Substitute here. So after substituting what we will get? Theta equals to 0 0.08 into cos h 0 0.54 into 10 to the power minus 3 z minus 1. Right? So, this is the value of theta. Now, at what value of z do you want to find? Just put, we will get the value of theta. Okay? So, now, so this is the general equation of the theta. 
Now, if you want to find at the top, you can put the value of z at the top. If you want to find bottom or in between, so just put the value of z here. You will get the angle at that point. Okay. So now, according to question, what we have to find? We have to find angle of the twist at the top. So for top, let's find. Okay. So at the top of the column, z is equal to how much? Three thousand mm. The angle of twist is then. So just put it here. So theta top is zero point zero eight cos h. 0.54 into 10 to the power minus 3, and for z equals to 3000. So after simplifying this, what you will get? 0.21 radian. Right. If you will convert this into degree, then you will get 12.01 degree. So 0.21 radian is almost equals to 12.01. So now, the just sorry, theta angle of twist at the top is how much? 12. 0.1 degree, or you can say in terms of radian, 0.21 rad, because radian unit is rad, right? So now we found the first part, angle of twist at the top. Now what we have to find angle of z distribution at the bottom. Okay, so let's find the axial load is applied through the centroid of the cross section, so that no bending occurs. That is the shear center. From there only we have taken that r value as. Both on sides in this case, right? So now sigma z equals to p by a plus m tau into two a r. So m tau into two a r by tau r. Right. So this is sigma z value. Now for that, what we have to require first, we have to find m tau. Two a r already that is there, right? So for at the base of the column, m tau at z equals to zero is what minus e tau. Into d two theta by z is d z square at z equals to zero. Now we know e tau e tau r is just to find m tau. Therefore, from equation two, m tau at z equals to zero is that is the e so minus two lakh or two hundred into ten to the power three into two point zero eight into ten to the power ten into zero point zero two into ten to the power minus six. Right. Let's see other value e. Tau r is how much? What do you got? Two point zero eight into ten power ten, and d two theta by d z square. Also, we got somewhere here. That is zero point zero six into ten to the power minus six. Now just put that one, right? So here, after putting zero point zero two into ten to the power minus six, what we will get? R uh, m tau at z equals to zero as eighty three point two into ten to the power six newton mm square. Now we have the moment. Next, the direct stress distribution at the base of the column is then from equation four. So let's see the equation four right here. Put the value of m because we know the p a m tau we found to we are already we found tau r we know right. So now everything you know. So just put the value of that. Hmm. So sigma z equals to hundred into ten to the power three right. So this is p. By area 400 into 5, then plus is there, but what we are getting that value that as minus 88.3. So after putting that minus here, 83.2 into 10 to the power 6 by 2 AR, right? Into sorry, into 2 AR. Or just here, this is a tower is we found that as 2.08 into 10 to the power 10 into 2 AR, right? So from here, after simplifying this, what we will get? Sigma z equals to minus fifty minus four into ten to the power minus three two a r. Now the thing here, once we know the two a r, we can put here and we will get the value of sigma z. Okay, so now just see here. Okay, so here two a r does is there. So here. Now m tau we know, right? And p Into two a r. So from here, two a r is what m tau by p. So now what we got m tau? Yeah, m tau we got minus eighty three point two into ten to the power six. So minus eighty three point eighty three point two into ten to the power six. Eighty three point two into ten to the power six divided by Load load is how much? Hundred 
kilo newton so divided by 100 into 10 to the power 3 right so from here we will get 2 a r right 2 a r equals to so 83 or minus 832 okay so now just put this 2 a r value here in this equation right after putting the value we we'll subtract from the 50 then you will get the value of sigma z so from here once you will get sigma z1 that is equals to sigma z4 that gives 20 newton per mm square and sigma z2 that is equals to sigma z3 as minus 68 newton per mm square so now we have the zero stress distribution on first and four that is similar so the c of the real itself also you can see okay so one to two right one and four will be equal two and three will be equal right so now we have sigma one z one sigma z one equals to sigma z four equals to 20 newton per mm square sigma z two equals to sigma z three equals to minus 68 newton per mm square right Okay, so let's see quickly once again. Okay, so question is what a vertical column is given, right? Carries a load of 100. So here one load is acting 100 kilo newton. Now what is the calculate the angle of twist at the top of the column? So here at the upper surface at the top of the column, how much angle of twist will be there that we have to find, right? And next is what find the direct stress. Direct stress that is sigma z we have to find where at its base. So here sigma z we have to find. For that what is given e is given and z by e value is given right so now you see from here this r center of twist on this value what coincides this dimension is given so let's apply so first find 2a r dash so now 2a r dash is what h d into h plus d by 2 into h plus d that already we had seen for this type of sum right so directly we are using here so now that will be tau r equals to t d q h square by 12 into 2h plus d by h plus d because of c here 2a r h d into h plus d by 2 into h plus d right so after putting that value in tau r we will get the tau r as this one now everything is given t is given d is given h is given right so after substituting those values what we will get we will get the value of tau r because h is given d is given so just substitute all the value here right you will get the value of tau r is 2.08 into 10 to the power 10 mm power 6. Now we have tau r. Now from the cent when and torsion constant j that we have to find that is equals to our sigma of s t q by 2l. So from after substituting that one what we will get 0.17 into 10 to the power 5 mm power 4. Right. So that now we have the j. So g by e is given j and tau r. So let's find root g by j into by e tau r because now we found tau r e is given sorry g by e is given and j is also found right just now we found j so after substituting this what will we, after substituting the value we will get that equals to 0 0.54 into 10 to the power minus 3 okay so now the condition is since no torque is applied then what happened this will be the solution that rate of is that d theta by dz equals to c cos h mu z plus d sin h mu z. Now what we have to do that again for finding this first we have to find c and d. So for finding c and d apply the boundary condition. So after applying the boundary condition what is the boundary condition when z is 0 or when d theta by dz is 0 when z is 0. Substitute in equation 1 you will get the value of c as 0. Now m tau is p into 2ar. Okay, so p is given 100. 2ar is 2.5 into sorry, this one. P a r already we know that 2ar is 2.5 into 10 to the power 3. That gives minus 2 minus 25 into 10 to the power 5 kilo newton. So now we have m tau. So now noting that just from here that m tau equals to what integral c sigma z into 2ar into t ds. That is m tau. Right. So now we can just substitute the value of m tau and here we can find. So first let's see the find d2z by dz square. So we, what we will get 2.5 into 10 to the power 5 okay into 10 to the power 3 divided by e into 
This is what? That's what we found. Right? Here. Right? At tau r value. So tau r that gives how much? 0.06 into 10 to the power minus 6. So now we have d2 theta by dz square. Right? So now at 3000 mm. So substitute in the differential equation 1. So after substituting z equals to 3000, what we will get? d equals to 0 0.04 into 10 to the power minus 3. So now put the value of c and d in equation 1. So after putting the value, what we will get? Z, d theta by dz equals to 0 0.04 into 10 to the power minus 3 sin h 0 0.54 into 10 to the power minus 3 z. So now we have d theta. Now just integrate to find the theta. So after integrating what we will get? Theta equals to 0 0.08 cos h 0 0.54 into 10 to the power minus 3 z plus f where f is what? Integral or integration constant. So now first we have to find the value of f. So after finding the value of f we can substitute here. So for finding f, again boundary condition that what is that? And built in in z is 0, that time theta is also 0. So put here theta as 0, z as 0. So what you will get from here? f equals to minus 0 0.08. Put this f here. So after that what you will get? Theta equals to 0 0.08 cos h 0 0.54 into 10 to the power minus 3, z minus 1. Now wherever you want to find, put the value of z. You will get the value of theta. So it's given where we have to find at the top of the column. So that is what? There z is 3000. Just put the value of z as 3000 here. So theta top. What you will get? At 0 0.21 radian. Up, if you, once you will convert into degree, that value will be 12.01 degree. So now theta top we found first. Now second part. The axial load is applied through the centroid of the cross section so that no bending occurs. So only the this one direct stress will be there. So sigma z is p by a. We know p, we know a. m tau 2ar by tau r. At the base, this m tau we have to find. So m tau at z equals to 0 is what? Minus e tau d2 theta by dz square. And for substituting here only, we found this d2 theta by dz square. This value. Right. So now everything we have, just put in that one. Right. So putting here, if we have e, we have tau r. We yeah, have this one. So put here e tau r and d2 theta by dz square. So after multiplying, what you will get? Minus 83.2 into 10 to the power 6. So now we have m tau. Just substitute m tau and all the value in which one? In this sigma z equation. That is an equation 4. So sigma z is r minus 100 into 10 to the power 3 and 2r. And 2r also we found. So just sigma z is minus 50 into minus 4 into 10 to the power minus 3 into 2ar. 2ar already we found. Just substitute the value, right? You will get sigma z1 that is equals to sigma z4 equals to 20 newton per mm square and sigma z2 which is equals to sigma z3 as minus 68 newton per mm square. Okay? Hmm. So this is the reference that THG mentioned book. Right? So if you have any doubt, you can just comment on the video or you can Contact me regarding your door so that I can clarify you. Okay, thank you. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.